Bangalore's strongest global identity are its vibrant electronic and software industries which have produced world-class brands of Indian mindware and generated revenues worth billions of US dollars. The seeds were sown way back in 1978. Karnataka was quick to realize the emergence of the information technology as one of the key drivers of future economic growth. Leveraging on quality educational facilities, high skill sets and the born global culture of Bangalore, Karnataka State Electronics Development Corporation Kionix, and Karnataka Industrial Areas Development Board KIADB, were instrumental in setting up the electronic city located 18 kilometers from Bangalore. The mammoth electronic city of today is an industrial cluster housing many corporate giants, multinationals and public sector units. Sprawling over an area of 550 acres with 169 companies employing more than 40,000 knowledge-based professionals, the region contributes to an annual revenue of more than 10,000 crore rupees. Sensing the need for close coordination amongst the constituents of the electronics city for collective benefit, major establishments in the electronics city joined hands to form Elsia, the Electronics City Industries Association on 9th January 1992. Behind all the positives of the Electronics City is Elsia, a dedicated whole time enabling body planning, organizing and executing the interests of the Electronics City occupants. July 1997 witnessed an innovative step in public-private partnership. Kionics formally transferred the reins of managing the infrastructure and maintenance of Electronics City to Elsia. Elsia has come a long way since it took over the entire maintenance of the Electronics City. This is mainly due to the active involvement of all the large and small companies together. I feel the Electronics City Association is a good example of companies coming together and running the administration of its immediate environment. This is something which has helped both the industry, the government and the people around its neighborhood. Today, Electronics City stands as a role model for efficient housekeeping services and solid waste management, uninterrupted water supply through own excavated bore wells, also working towards reliable power supply and telecommunication too. Prompt maintenance of streets, footpaths, more than 150 streetlights and drainage systems, round-the-clock security and orderly traffic management. Elsia's contributions to external infrastructure have turned out to be beneficial to the general public as a whole. The environmental concerns of Elsia extends beyond the boundaries of the electronics city. Experience the whiff of freshness as you drive the 10km stretch on the highway from Naganathapura. Battling with traffic nulls outside the electronics city has been a harrowing experience for commuters who include a large number of electronic city employees. To alleviate their woes, Elsia has drafted the services of trained wardens for traffic management. Installation of direction finding boards and barricades with light reflectors are major conveniences. To meet the transport needs of smaller companies in the electronics city, Elsia has organized through BMTC plying of 30 extra buses during office hours in the morning and evening. If you're in for a comfort ride, take the AC Volvo buses that have joined the fleet from 1st February 2006. The construction of 12 bus bays is also the initiative of Elsia. Maintaining a healthy working relationship with the local administration, Elsia has been coordinating payments of property tax by the units of the Electronics City to the local panchayats. How much is environmentalism relevant to electronics? Elsia's activities towards responsible corporate citizenry can provide the answer. My dear friends, we have started uh, cutting trees to give a way for the buildings and it has become like a concrete jungle. That single tree can give an oxygen for 24 people. When such is the case, is it not our duty to grow more trees so that environment becomes clean and we, our, our longevity also will increase. In planting trees, we are creating new hopes and new, new life for the future generation. The lush green landscape and the well-manicured lawns inside the electronics city 
is the result of extensive Greening Electronics City GEC project undertaken by Elsia in 1996. More than 5,000 saplings have been planted inside the campus since then. In this blue chip zone, Elsia is committed to leave no brown patch unturned to green. Lampos in Electronics City have turned perching spots for exotic birds. This novel bird picture display idea is the brainchild of Elsia. The all-round concern of Elsia towards the Electronics City occupants is reflected in the constant addition of public utilities and service centers in the campus. There is the common facility Elsia Complex, housing, E-City Dental Center, Healthcare and Trauma Center, six-bed hospital with all modern amenities, railway reservation center, ATMs, crash for employees' children, cafeteria, and petrol station. Thanks to constantly surging trends in the electronics and IT sector, Elsia's hands are full with ongoing and future programs. The state-of-the-art fire station to meet the long-felt need of the electronics city and the neighboring villages. Setting up of a multi-fuel 30 megawatt power plant to meet the present and foreseeable needs of the electronics city. Upgradation of vigilance in the light of new threat perspectives to research and knowledge-based institutions. Multi-tier parking station within the campus has recently been commissioned at Infosys. Elsia plans to extend it to others as well. Pursuing with the civic authorities and the traffic police towards decongesting traffic on the Husur Road. Extending the greening program to adjoining villages and Electronics City Phase 2 Eastern. Getting a separate police station considering frequent VIP movements. Setting up of a 500-acre residential cyber township close to the Electronics City. Setting up an international standard school. Follow-up for the construction of the present six-lane road to a ten-lane road along with the elevated highway to connect the existing electronics city and the proposed electronics township in a driving time of about 20 minutes. Follow-up for extending metro rail project up to electronics city. Managing such a huge volume and range of activities related to this economy crucial sector is the executive committee of Elsia comprising of elected representatives from member organizations, supported by a professionally competent secretariat. LCS strengths lie in the organizations that it represents and the support of government institutions that it addresses. In that respect, LCS is a successful role model of public-private partnership.